Okay, so we seem to be pushing a little bit too much stuff onto our mystery list. So let's go ahead and try to solve one of these mysteries, specifically the one about why Visual Studio is over allocating space for local variables. So this is what we saw before, function with a single local variable allocated hex 18 worth of space. So in order to investigate this mystery, let's go ahead and expand it out. So if we, for instance, have a bit of code that has main calling func and func doing nothing other than calling func2, func2 having a single local variable and calling func3, and func3 having only a single local variable. So func3 and main are like we saw before, but func allows us to now see, you know, what is the effects of just calling a function. And this allows us, func2 allows us to see the effects of both calling a function and allocating a local variable. So between, you know, between these different things, we should be able to see certain behavior for this and this. We'd expect them to be the same, but maybe they will be, maybe they won't be. We'd expect this to be, you know, included within this. And so this should be sort of the combination of whatever's going on here and whatever is going on here. So let's see what this assembly looks like. So here's the assembly and you know there's definitely clues within this assembly. So we saw this mysterious hex 28 worth of stack allocation space. That's not really what we're looking into right now. We're trying to figure out what's up with this 18. But we can see the hex 28 happens here and it happens equivalently in funk. So, you know, whatever this hex 28 is, it must not have anything to do with, you know, being main specific or anything like that. It seems to be just, you know, if you call a single function, you get hex 28 worth of space. And now func3 is hex 18 as before, so that makes sense and that it's consistent. But what's interesting here is that func2, which should be the combination of this hex 28 and this hex 18, is hex 38 instead of hex 40. So if it was just a pure combination, hex 28 plus hex 18 would be hex 40, but it's not hex 40. So, you know, what's going on here? Well, if you go ahead and start stepping through this code, then you should be able to see how the stack is being used, and you can start creating your own theories about what exactly is going on in the stack with this particular thing. So go ahead and stop and go through the code, build up a stack diagram showing what's allocated, what's not allocated, what variables are where, and then we'll go over it next.